Is it possible to create a yes or no action for your character's head? Yes, it is. It is not easy, but it can be very effective if you have patience. Randy has a tutorial to show you how. This is Randy. And Patrick! With more Create Studio 3 tips. The Create Studio 3 3D Creator characters have built-in actions that can be applied. However, currently there are not any yes or no actions where the character will nod its head for a yes and shake its head for a no. A few of Create Studio's other characters do have this action, which is quite useful. Hopefully, Create Studio will add these actions for future characters. But until then, it is possible to create the yes and no actions yourself. This technique that I will be sharing is more advanced and beginners may struggle. Here is a brief overview. We will create two masks, one for the head and one for the body. We will create the head movements using the character view animations. As Tom mentioned in the introduction, it is not easy, but with patience and attention to detail, the yes and no actions can look very natural and quite effective in a talking situation. Let's go over some requirements. The neckline must be clear so your character cannot have long hair or beards. Avoid microphones or clothing that covers the neck. The character should not have a lot of movement, so this works best when using the idle action. This technique only works with the 3D creator characters. It will not work with the other characters. All right, time to do it. First step, add the audio to the timeline. Next, add your 3D creator character to the timeline and extend the idle action for the duration of the audio. Remove Tom's beard so that he has a clean neck area. Duplicate the character track and rename the duplicate to Head. While I am at it, I will rename the original track to Body. The next step is to add a rectangle shape by clicking on the plus symbol above the canvas and click on Rectangle. Size the rectangle to cover the head and place the bottom of the rectangle below the chin. Extend the duration to the end of the video. Scrub through the timeline to ensure that no part of the head appears below the rectangle. Rename the rectangle to Head Mask. Duplicate the Head Mask and rename the duplicate to Body Mask. Reduce the scale of the Body Mask by 1% so it is slightly smaller than the Head Mask. Select the Head Track. Open the Track Map panel, change Mask from None to Head Mask, and change Type to Alpha. Next, select the Body Track. Open the Track Map panel, change Mask to Body Mask, make sure Type is Alpha, and toggle on Inverted. It will look like you have one character, but it is made up of a Head Track and a Body Track. You may ask, why not create one mask for the head and use the same mask inverted for the body. I initially tried that thinking it should work, but it left a thin line where the head and body met. That is the reason to create two masks. Let's create a yes action. Play through the video to determine where you want to start the head nod. Is it possible to create a yes or no action for your character's head? Yes. I will place the playhead just before the audio says yes. Select the head track and then click on Add Animation. Click on Character View. You will see two diamonds which are keyframes added to the track. By experimentation, I have found that five or six frames works best for the head nodding up and down. So, advance the playhead six frames by clicking on this icon six times. Move the last diamond by mouse clicking on it and drag it left to where the playhead is. You may be tempted to make the head motion now, but the tip is, add all the keyframes first before adjusting the head. For this segment, I wanted eight animations, so repeat the same steps of clicking on Add Animation, Select Character View, Advance Playhead six frames, and move the last keyframe to where the playhead is seven more times. Okay, now's the time to make the head movements. 
Click on the second keyframe so that its color changes to blue and the playhead jumps to it. Click on the rotate icon above the character. Move your mouse inside the purple box, click and rotate the head down. Tip! It does not take much movement, so move it down slightly. Keep the chin from moving below the head mask. Now click on the next keyframe and you will notice the head is back at the starting position. That is the reason to add all the keyframes before making any head movements. The last keyframe will return the head to the default position. Use your mouse to rotate the head up slightly. Alternate the rotations down and up for each of the keyframes. As I mentioned, when you get to the last keyframe, the head will return back to the default location, so do not move the head position of the last keyframe. Tip! I do think the last nod action looks better if it goes slower, so I will right click on that last keyframe and move it right about two or three frames. There you go! That is how to make a yes action. Making the no action is essentially the same thing. However, I found a longer duration for the side to side motion looks better, so I will space the keyframes every eight frames. Here I added six character view animations with a duration of eight frames. Click on the second keyframe. Click on the rotate icon, move the head to the right. Click on the next keyframe and move the head to the left. Keep alternating the right and left motions until you get to that last keyframe. Again, drag that last keyframe to the right three or four frames. That will slowly rotate the head back to the default position. So that is how to make the no action. Wow, I got through the entire tutorial without getting interrupted by Patrick. Uh, I... I was so amazed that I was speechless. But it is a good thing I am here. You forgot to mention the last step. Click on the audio track, right mouse click, and sync with head. That is by far the most important step. Hey, partner. That is not the most important step. Hey, everyone. Have a good day and happy creating.